this event this morning really is to celebrate the uh, last week's announcement in our budget to make the Ports Property Tax Act permanent here in British Columbia. It was uh, an act that was in place until 2018 that gave certainty to our ports on their investment with the uh, mill rate and the capping of that. What they were looking for was some permanency beyond 2018. Uh, the range that they invest in is in the 30 to 50 year range, uh, multiple billions of dollars worth of investment and what they were looking for was some certainty for the long range. Uh, we made a commitment through our discussions with them that we would work hard to try and deliver on that. And last week, uh, my colleague, the Honourable Kevin Falcon, our Minister of Finance, delivered in the budget making permanent the Port Property Tax Act, which is great news, not only for the ports in our province, but for all British Columbians. It allows the opportunity for greater investment, which creates jobs and creates certainty for the workers in our ports. We have thousands of families that depend on the work on the waterfront for their livelihood and for supporting their communities throughout the Lower Mainland and actually throughout BC. We see this initiative and this announcement as being a very positive impact on our industry to make those investments. Changes like these that provide stability and certainty for long-term decision making are essential to Port Metro Vancouver and to our competitiveness because they provide an environment where our industry partners can invest, generating economic returns and creating jobs. We welcome this initiative, we support this initiative, and we certainly welcome and, uh, and thank this government, firstly for showing the leadership back in, in uh, 2004 to bring the initial act forward and now to extend that to ensure that we do have the necessary environment to attract this kind of investment capital and business opportunity to build trade and, and opportunities throughout this province.